In many student projects, we may want to measure different variables in rivers, particularly river discharge. Gauging structures allow us to continually measure a wide variety of parameters, for example, how discharge fluctuates throughout the day or even the season. Once the gauging structure has been set up, you can easily attach any field measuring equipment, for example a fluorometer, which can be seen in our dye tracing video, or a pressure sensor for measuring river stage. Here we can see a gauging structure being built to house a turbidity sensor in order to measure suspended sediment concentration. This way of building a gauging structure is quick, cheap and easy. The station is made up of aluminium poles because they are lightweight and can be carried easily into mountainous environments. Poles are then secured together using Jubilee clips. However, the edges are sharp and once the clips are secured, it's best to tape them over to prevent any instrument wires from being cut or damaged. Here we can see the turbidity sensor being attached to the structure using insulation tape and cable ties. Ensure that you tape the sensor wires to the poles to avoid any movement in high winds because this could cause internal damage to the wire. Once you've connected your instruments, put the data logger a good distance away from the river particularly in mountainous areas where rivers rise rapidly. You should seek help from your project supervisor or an experienced scientist when attaching and programming the data logger. You'll also see from our top tips that it's a good idea to place lightweight rocks over the wire. This is to prevent animals such as marmots, squirrels and arctic foxes from chewing the wire and damaging the sensor. It's very important that your gauging structure is secured properly in the river. It has to be completely stable so that the motion of the flowing water won't move the station and render your results inaccurate. This is particularly important when measuring stage. It's a good idea to leave a warning sign on the structure to notify members of the public why the structure is there and to hopefully prevent anyone from interfering with it.